here it goes. No, I can't, I can't. Okay, I will. All right, here it goes. No, 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 no. What's wrong, Jay? Well, I just put together this remote control car and I'm scared to test it out. Why? What if I put it together wrong? Oh, what's this? Oh, those are the directions. Did you read them? <laughs> no, who reads the directions? Okay, here goes nothing. Jay. And I'm Emma. Welcome to Press Play. I was just thinking about jobs that take real courage. Can you think of some, Jay? Hmm. What about you all? What jobs take courage? Ooh, I got one. A lion tamer. Oh, that's a good one. What about something with the, just a little less danger? A window washer on a skyscraper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's scary. My cousin Carlos has a job that takes courage. It's really cool. What? He's in a pit crew for an indie car driver. The pit is where the cars get worked on during the race. Whoa, that is so cool. Those folks have to be on the track with cars going lightning fast, and they work on them in like seconds. If they get something wrong, who knows what could happen. <gasps> Wanna find a pit crew somewhere in action? Yeah, let's do this. Three, Three two, two, one, press, press play! play. Oh, yes, we're, 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 we're actually in the pits during a real race. Ooh, there's my cousin, Carlos, hi. Uh, hey, hey, Emma, what are you doing here? Oh, long story, magical button. We're not always sure where it'll take us, but sometimes we kind of know, it, it's weird. Anyway, I'm here. Uh, and I'm here too. My name is Jay, and we were just talking about how courageous you have to be to do this. Uh, hi, Jay. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it does take courage. Uh, hold on eight seconds. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That car came flying in here super fast. It's super duper fast. <laughs> and you just calmly do your thing and then it whizzes off again right in front of your feet. Do you worry about your toesies? Well, I don't call them toesies for starters. <laughs> but I guess I can be courageous doing this job because I know what I'm doing. It reminds me of a... Bible story. It reminds you of a Bible story. Tell me. It is, right? Oh, 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 oh. Is he okay? Yeah, he, he's just excited to be here. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, a Bible story. Uh, hold on seven seconds. <laughs> You're my hero. Uh, well, well. Uh, this Bible story is from the book of Joshua, chapter one. After Moses died, God told Joshua he would be the one to lead the Israelites into the promised land. Mm. Oh, wow, what a promotion. Do you think he wanted to do it? Sounds scary. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure what Joshua wanted. But we know it was a lot of responsibility. It would take a lot of courage. Mm. God knew Joshua would need help being courageous in the days ahead because the journey wasn't exactly going to be easy. Wow, I see. I wonder how courage works. Does God just download a dose to people, and follow-up question. So you have never called them Tosis. <laughs> never on the Tosis questions. <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> but as for how God gives courage, well, let's find out together. It says Joshua 1-7, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. The law he was talking about? was God's word. If Joshua knew the words of God and kept on track with those words, that would give him all the courage he would need. When it comes to being in a pit crew, courage comes from knowing your job and the car. But off the track, real courage comes from knowing God's word. Uh, be right back. The car had this in it. Oh. Wow, brains, bronze, Bravery, and he found the big idea alarm? Emma, your cousin rules. <laughs> Thanks, Carlos. We gotta go. Yeah, good to see you, Emma. And uh, hey, watch after those dozies, Jay. No, he said it. He said dozies. <laughs> it's time for the press play handshake. Join us. Turn to your neighbor and do the handshake with us. <laughs> Aren't you 
worried about breaking that again? Nope. I read the directions front to back twice. I know this car. Just like Carlos, and just like Joshua knew God's word, I feel courageous. Woo! <laughs> Today's press play took us to a pit crew with my cousin Carlos. Carlos taught us about real courage by telling us the story of Joshua 1. Joshua was taking over for Moses, and he would have to have courage to do it. But God told him that knowing God's word and following it would be all the courage he would need. And the same is true for us every day. Knowing God's word keeps us on track. Now it's time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse. Here we go. Are you ready to drop the verse? Tell them, Emma. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go right now. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10.23 Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10.23 One more time. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. For he who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10.23 One more. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. Hebrews 10, 23. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful.